Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Uh, Y'all know we always profile crazy-ass white women, okay? We got a crazy-ass white woman in Maryland. Her name is Mary Ann Lasanti. She described a legislative district in Prince George's County as an N-word district. At first, she said she couldn't remember saying it. But when the Washington mm. Post asked her if she had ever used the word, this is what she said. I'm sure I have. I'm sure everyone has used it. I've used the F word. I use the lowest name in vain. Um, mm. what, 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 y'all? Well, hold on. You, you, left, you left one other thing out. She said it, it wasn't, <laughs> this was the one, it wasn't in her vocabulary. Right. That's right. She said it, right. it was not in my vocabulary, right. but it came out my it mouth. It came out my mouth. Y'all, you know? she's been stripped of her subcommittee chairmanship yeah. and will undergo sensitivity training. Yeah. She's apologized, but today, key Maryland elected officials, including the Black Legislative Caucus, Governor Larry Hogan, a Republican, and Prince George's County Executive Angela Allsbrook, a Democrat have called on her to resign. And also the Maryland State Conference of the NAACP has also called for her to resign. We need the ultimate black clapback. When you do something stupid, racist, ignorant like this, step out of your position, resign, and then also pay us some money. I thought we had, I thought we had this, but y'all go ahead and play it. I forgot they, they, they were supposed to tell me we had this. Hit play. No charcoal girls are allowed. I'm white. I got you, huh? On my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Grandpa! Y'all have got to, y'all have got to remember to put that in the doggone script. What crazy ass it? white. Yeah, crazy ass white. You need to add the Houston woman who got mad at the couple. It, it's so many crazy ass white women. We can't you add. Got, you need a uh, Otherwise, the video going <laughs> the end gonna be about 15 minutes long. Longer than that. All right, folks. Back to our Mark unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks. Calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders. Enter the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win twenty-five thousand dollars for your school. Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement the proposal. Now, the deadline is to apply. It's March 31st, 2019. Go to fgb.life for more information to apply. fgb.life for more information to apply. And if you're lit watching, tell your HBCU that if they don't know about this, they need to be doing it. You should be pushing this on social media. Again, folks, 25 grand uh, that could go to one of the HBCU campuses. Ford goes further in our community, and we certainly uh, appreciate them being a partner here on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.